and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is rotate a linked list which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one node head of the linked list so basically it will be the head of the linked list and another parameter is this k of integer type and what we have to do is basically we have to rotate this linked list k times to the left okay what does this means let's quickly understand this with an example so here we can see this linked list 10 20 30 40 and we uh, 50 10 20 30 40 50 and we have to rotate it four times to the left okay on rotating it once to the left this 10 will come over here and it will be coming to this okay on rotating it twice this 20 will come from the last uh, from the starting and it will come to the last on rotating it three times this 30 will be coming here and on rotating it fourth time this 40 will also come to the last okay so now the new link list will be something like 50 10 20 30 40 and this is what we have to return okay all right so pretty simple problem statement is there if you, you want to see it with another example so let's see that as well so here we are given a linked list with four nodes that is 10 20 30 40 okay uh, this linked list length is basically four okay all right and what we have to do we have to rotate it to the left six times six times okay so if you will see one case here ki yaar, if my linked list length is only four and we have to rotate it six times so basically if the length is 4 and we will rotate it 4 times, I will get the same linked list again. I will get the same linked list again if I rotate it equal to its length side. Okay. So, 4 reversals, 4 uh, rotations will be nothing. And after that, 2 rotations will be remaining. So, we will do only 2 rotations. Okay. Because only 2 rotations will be meaningful. Others will be, others 4 will only give me the same array again. Okay. All right. I think you have got this point. So, how are we going to rotate it? Two times okay so look on rotating it once this 10 from very starting will go to the last okay so the new link list will be something like this 10 and after that this 10 will be removed here and after that in the second time this 20 will also be removed from here and 20 will be here okay so what will be the new link list new link list will be something like 30 40 10 and 20 30 40 10 and 20 which and we have to just return the head of the new link list that is 30 okay all right so this is what we have to do pretty simple pretty basic but believe me the right to write the code of it is not that much easy it's very easy to understand the problem and writing the code is a different thing and it's a bit tough tricky one okay so let's see how are we going to tackle this if you will see this problem 4 k equal to 4 and 10 20 30 40 50 okay how we can rotate it if we want to divide it into steps the first step if you have seen this here the first step is to get the length of the linked list first step is to get the length of the linked list why because yeah if my k k which is the times of rotation is greater than my total length of linked list we have to uh, let's say update this k and how are we going to update this k k will be equal to k modulus length of the link list k modulus length of the link list because this only these many rotations will be meaningful others will only return with the same array same link list again i think you have got this point okay so first step is this all right after that what we have to do if you will see this 10 20 30 40 let's see this array let's take this array and the total number of rotations for this is two now because six is basically done and uh, only four me rotations will give me the same array so two rotations are remaining i will do only two rotation okay on doing the two rotation what will happen look first thing will be after two this will be my new head new head this will be new head okay this dot next will be not there and this now 20 will be pointing to null okay and this 40 will be now pointing to 10 okay so three things are there first of all after k uh, nodes like the two nodes here so second third node will become my new head okay this previous node will now point to null okay and the last node will now point to 10 will now point to the first node okay and we just return the new head okay so these many steps are there and we have to just write the code for it okay all right so let's quickly let me tell you how are we going to code it first step 
simply get the length of the linked list second step update my k okay third step is basically to reach to the previous node this one to reach to this node okay and what i'm going to do that this next will now be pointing to null okay and this next earlier i will store it and this will be my new head okay and moving to the last i will simply make this array as circular okay all right so how are we going to code it let's quickly see the code section for it but before that if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and like the video and uh, uh, yeah i've made a cool chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials here only so the link is in the pinned comment make sure to check that link as well all right let's quickly see the code section then so first thing first if you remember what i told to get the length of the link list okay so basically what i will do let's say my int length is equal to one okay uh, let's say int length is equal to zero okay and after that what i will do while current not equal to okay let's take a new variable current all right so basically first thing if you remember what i will told what i told is to get the length of the link list okay my current length is let's say zero okay and uh, now what i have to do i have to basically get the length of the link list so i will do look i will take a new node variable which is let's say tmp is equal to head to basically not lose my head because we have to use it again and again so i don't lo lose the track of it so i will use a tmp variable and iterate over it okay while tmp not equal to null okay now what i will do i will simply update my length and the next thing what i will do is to basically update tmp is equal to tmp dot next okay all right until this point we are good we have got our length and after that what i will do i will simply do k is equal to new k is equal to length which is total length modulus k or simply k is equal to k modulus length something like this okay so i've got a new k which is basically the effective rotations okay effective rotations after that if you remember what i told first thing will be to check yeah if my k is equal to zero it means no rotations are there simply i will return my head okay all right otherwise otherwise what i will do is uh, the second thing to basically uh, let me quickly think okay so basically i will use this tmp is equal to head again basically to again i've got this tmp and now what i will do uh, i will simply iterate over this to reach to the kth point and uh, do the some few things okay so for that what i will do for int i is equal to one i is less than k i plus plus okay and after that i will simply do tmp is equal to tmp dot next okay and after that what i will do look so our new head okay so currently i am at tmp and after when i will over when i will be over from this loop if i will talk about this linked list i will be at this four okay i will be at this four when i will come out of this loop here so what i will do look my new head will be tmp dot next my new head will be tmp dot next okay so simply uh, do that new head basically i will use head only head is equal to tmp dot next okay and after that this 40 will now point to null if you remember this will be my last node this 40 will be my last node so it will point to null and how i'm going to do that i will simply do tmp dot next is equal to null okay and after that we will simply return the new head we will simply return the new head okay but there is one step which is still missing is to make this last node 50 point back to the first node 50 which is the last node make it point back to the first node how i'm going to tackle this look if i make few changes to our length here a length function i will simply do currently my length is one okay and after that what i will do while tmp dot next not equal to that okay so i will continue this loop now after 40 line after this loop exits my tmp will be at the last node my tmp will be at the last node okay so now what i have to do i just have to do this tmp dot next is equal to my current head okay so let's do that after coming out of this while loop here i will simply do what tmp dot next is equal to head okay 
a very very simple this is and uh, i think that's it i think that's it uh, i will just have to check ki yaar total number of nodes will be at least one so i think it should get compiled let's quickly try to compile this uh, meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video uh, let me submit this and these uh, linklish problems are a bit tricky so please sit with the pen and paper and try to visualize this code i always say uh, sit with pen and paper and try to think why what this code is doing okay and it's getting accepted so yeah that was it for today i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding subscribe the channel and bye